What's up guys, I'm Meek of Camp Crunch, and in this video, in this Lightroom tutorial, we are going to go through the, nope, not the effects panel, the lens corrections panel of Lightroom. If you want to learn more about Lightroom, go to campcrunch.com slash Lightroom, where I'll have a whole library of tutorials for you to follow so that you can learn more about the different settings and functions of Lightroom. So go there after you're watching this video. So the lens correction panel basically does things like it corrects for distortion, corrects for vignetting, chromatic aberration, and different things like that uh, so that you can basically have a you know nice looking image because your lens usually isn't optically perfect, but companies like Canon and Nikon, they usually use software to compensate for the flaws of the lens. And Adobe in their Lightroom software has some you know compensation software built in so that you can fix the look of your lens using software. And that is what this panel does. So let's go through this one by one. Enable, enable profile corrections up here in the basic section. Basically turns on the settings that your camera or that your lens needs to fix the imperfections. We're not going to click that right now. I'll click it later. I'll just you know talk about what these do one by one. Then you have remove chromatic aberration, which again is an imperfection with some lenses. Chromatic aberration is those sections of the image in high contrast areas where you get sort of like a magenta hue or some color shift of some kind. Constraint to crop is basically a setting where you can make sure the image stays rectangle. For example, if I click vertical right here, it sort of gives this uh, you know triangle shape up here. It makes it a five-sided shape. When you constrain to crop, it makes sure that to crop that image so that it is uh, a rectangle. But you can see it cropped out a big chunk of the image, but that's something that you need to sacrifice if you're going to uh, use some of these settings. So let's uncheck that off and so now let's go down here. These upright settings are super, super handy because they are it's sort of like, I don't know how they did it, but it strains lines in Lightroom. If you do auto, it sort of tries to do it all for you, right? It straightens your horizon, it strains your vertical lines. And again, you need to constrain the crop uh, to keep it a rectangle. But let's turn it off and let's go through these other things first. So let's say you don't want to do vertical you can just do level. Now level will just fix the horizon line and it will leave it at that. As you can see, the lines of the buildings going upwards aren't all straight yet. If you do vertical, it won't necessarily level the image, but it makes all of the buildings straight up vertical. If you do full, it will do uh, both of those. And then you can constrain to crop and then it will basically fix the image, make it look perfect. But, you know, some people don't want that. Some people uh, just want something leveled and they don't want all the lines straight up. You know, that's cool too, but this is a great tool to be able to do that. Or you can just, you know, stick it to auto and then you'll be fine. If you go to profiles, this is what I was talking about earlier, the enable profile corrections. If you click it, you can see that the distortion went away and the vignetting went away. And that's because it turns on the profile of the lens that I'm using, which is the Canon 24mm f2.8 IS. It knows what settings to put. And then you can adjust that, you can adjust the distortion, and you can adjust the vignetting, but I don't usually touch that because these settings usually do the job just fine. Now, if it doesn't have your camera, you can, you know, look for it here if you don't have the metadata for it. But it usually does the job just fine. When it comes to color, you can change the, you know, rem do remove chromatic aberration, which you'll get the option to do here. And then you can do uh, defringe. I don't usually touch this primarily because I don't know how to control it that well, but you usually don't need to use it. So, you know, do remove chromatic aberration if you have to, but you know, you don't need to mess with this defringe if you don't, you know, if you don't want to. Then there's manual. This is where you can do everything yourself. And this is what I used to do back in the older days of Lightroom when you didn't have the auto settings. You could fix the distortion, you know, you can change it like that. You can do the vertical, horizontal, rotate, scale, aspect. Then you can constrain to crop afterwards. And then you can do lens vignette. So you can remove the lens vignette. 
This is what you had to do back in the day, but ever since these settings came out, the upright settings, this is all I've had to use. So it's a you know, really great addition to Lightroom 5, something that I really appreciated. So that's how you use lens correction in Lightroom. Again, if you want to learn more about Lightroom, go to camtrench.com slash Lightroom. I'll have more videos for there, there for you. I'll have posts as well. And that's you know one place where you can learn uh, the different settings of Lightroom. Again, I'm Nico of Cam Crunch, and I'll see you guys next time.